this video we're going to look at a compound interest question. A savings account pays 3% compounded annually. If $10,000 is deposited in the account, how much is in the account at the end of two years? Okay. So how we work this one out is we start with year one. Okay. And we have to calculate the interest amount. How would you calculate the interest amount in year one? Savings account pays 3% compounded annually. So the simple interest is 3%. 3% of the money in there. So the interest amount is going to be 3% of $10,000. Calculate that. So 3% as a decimal is what? The decimal point is here. Move it over one, two places, stick in a zero. So 0 0.03 or 0 0.03 multiplied by 10,000, right? So if we multiply those, what do we get? Let's see, 10,000, 0.03, multiply, 3 times 0 is 0, 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 3 times 1 is 3. And we have two decimal places in the question, so 2 in the answer. So $300. The interest amount, $300, right? So the after year 1, what is the total amount in the account? Well, you have to get the original and you have to add the interest, right? To get your total. So what was the original amount? $10,000, right? So we started with 10,000. We add the interest of 300. So at the end of year one, $10,300 in the account. Okay. Now, compounded annually. Let's see. It's a, how much is in the account at the end of two years? So we're, we're done with year one. At the end of year one, we got 10300 in there. Now we're going to move on to year two. So you'd have to do this for every year, basically. And for year two, you've got to calculate the interest amount. Now, you're starting with $10,300 in year two, remember. Because you've already got interest on that from the first year. What is the interest rate in year two? It says the account pays 3% compounded annually. They've already given you an interest rate of 3%. So the interest rate in year, in year two, we've got to get 3% of what? Of 10,300. See that? So calculate 3% of 10,300. What do you get? 3% as a decimal, once again, is 0 0.03. We've got to multiply that by 10,300. Okay. Let's do that. 10300, 0 0.03, multiply, 300, 300, 3 is 9, 300, 3 once is 3. Two decimal places in the question, so 2 in the answer, 309.00, which makes 309. So the interest amount in year 2 is $309. So what will be in the account now at the end of the year? At the end of year two? Well, at the end of year two, what's the original amount at the beginning of year two? At the beginning of year two, we start with what was at the end of year one, which is 10,300, right? Then we add on the interest. What was the interest earned in year two? 
we got 3% of 10,300, $309, dollars, right? So we're going to add that on. And that gives us the total at the end of year two. What does that make? 90610. So the answer is how much is in the account at the end of two years? The answer is $10,000. $609. This amount at the end of two years. Okay.